Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be creating an animated component and specifically we're going to be creating a loading wheel in Figma. So whenever you use this interactive, this animated component in your Figma prototypes, anyone who's viewing them is going to be able to see this wheel actually spinning. Let's take a look at how this is done in Figma. The first step is to create an ellipse. So I'm going to press O to access the ellipse tool and then click to create an ellipse circle. Uh, I'm going to change the size to about 50 and then I'm gonna remove the fill and add a stroke. This stroke is gonna be five or six pixels wide and we're gonna create an arc. So I'm first you gotta hover over this area of the circle and you can kind of see this little control over here and when you click and drag, it will enable you to do a sweep like this. Uh, I'm also holding down the shift key to be able to move in 15 degree increments and I think we could do like at this. So we have 75% or 270 degrees. Then I'm gonna go over here and type in 100. Additionally, I'm gonna go over here to the stroke section on the right side of Figma and I'm gonna be choosing round endpoints. So this is the result we get right now. Next thing we're gonna do is create uh, an angular gradient. So I'm gonna select the arc again and go to stroke, click this color and then go over here to create an angular gradient. This is what happens now. So as you can see, uh, this creates a gradient that is kind of going from this color to this color, but it's kind of being wrapped in a circular way where both of these ends kind of meet in a single point. So it goes from this color to this color over the course of a 360 degrees over the course of a circle, right? The plan is to, this area should be completely black and this one transparent, right? So let's, let's actually rotate this so that the final point is somewhere around here. And I think we will have to switch the colors like this, right? Perfect. Also, um, since they both meet here, this color right here is approximately found in this part of the gradient. This part of the gradient right here, that's not transparent. We're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna have to make this transparent like this, right? So you can kind of see that we've achieved uh, a look where it's going from completely black all the way to transparent over the course of 270 degrees. The static version of this loading wheel is finished. Now we have to create a component from this and set up the prototype so that it keeps on spinning. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we, we have to turn this into a component. So I'm gonna select the circle and go over here to click create component, right? Uh, we have created a component called ellipse one, but I'm gonna rename this and call this loading wheel. Next, we're gonna have to create three more variants. I'm gonna go here with this loading wheel selected and create an additional variant. We'll need to have four in total. So I'm gonna press plus here and then once again, and we have four variants, right? We have the default one, variant two, three, and four. I'm gonna rename this one to one, this one to two, three, and four. And what I'm gonna do now is, with the second one selected, I'm gonna expand this frame and then select the actual ellipse within uh, the variant frame. Then I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees, right? Clockwise. I'm gonna do something similar with the version number three, where I'm gonna select the ellipse again, but I'm, this time I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees. Uh, and finally, with the fourth one, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna rotate this 270 degrees, right? So like this. You can kind of see we have four steps of a rotation and uh, now we are ready for prototyping. So I'm gonna go over to prototype and select the first variant, select this little circle right here, this control for prototyping. And I'm gonna click and drag it over here and say, after delay, one millisecond, change to property one, two, change to this one, smart animate linear, and this is gonna take 500 milliseconds. Next step, select the second one and do something similar. So after delay, 
one millisecond, change to three, not animate, linear 500 milliseconds. This one, after delay, one millisecond, change to property four, smart animate linear 500. And finally, select the last one and do this, but connect that to the very first one. So we've created a type of loop. You also have to make sure this is not on click, but after delay as well, right? 500 milliseconds. So we have created a loop of four variants of four states where uh, they are automatically going from one to two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one. So it, it loops. And since we used Smart Animate, Figma is gonna calculate the in-between uh, states of, for example, these two uh, variants, which means this circle is gonna be rotating from this position to this position. At least that's in theory what should happen. Right now, it is time to test our result. So I'm gonna create a frame like this. I'm gonna to go to assets, search for a loading wheel, and then click and drag it over here, centering that. And now we're gonna rename this test screen and we're gonna launch our prototype and see if this works. And it does. You have a loading wheel that keeps on spinning because we used, we used the after delay prototype settings in combination with uh, smart animate and this is the result. We could of course speed it up or slow it down depending on how many milliseconds are there, right? So we'd have to set all of these to either increase the number of milliseconds or decrease it depending on if you want to slow it down or speed it up, right? Um, so this is the result. How can this be used uh, in practice? For example, we could, we could um, have a situation where you would create, let's say, three screens. You would have like screen number one, then you have a loading screen, and then you would have screen number two, right? In the first screen, you would have a button. You would have a button that will say like start, for example, or something like that. And then you, you would have screen with a loading wheel that would say loading. And then you would have a screen that will say done, right? So this is a kind of simple process. You could, you could create a prototype where when a user clicks the start button, they will navigate to a screen that says loading with the wheel spinning. And then could set that um, after delay, let's say 4,000 milliseconds, it would navigate to the screen where it would say done. You could kind of create this loading screen flow for your users. So let's test this out, how this could be used in practice. For example, I'm here, I click start, it is loading, and after a while it says that it's done. So this is just one of the use cases you could uh, use this loading wheel for. Uh, this was just an example. But uh, in, in any case, combining smart animation with the after delay prototype feature, you can create basically any animation you want. As you can see, it's quite simple to use. And if you'd like to see more animations in Figma, more interactive animated prototypes, let me know by leaving a like and maybe commenting what would you like to see next. If you're interested in learning Figma and UX and UI design, definitely go and check out my channel. I do plenty of tutorials on these topics. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.